Welcome to Preeminent Test Prep. Today is day 14 in our 90-day SAT preparation series. For today, you're going to be taking your first practice test. So today's going to be your first practice test that you're going to do on your own. There is not going to be a lesson today. The lesson is you taking your first SAT practice test. So that practice test that you should be taking today, if you're following our 90-day prep series, is you should be taking SAT practice test number five. So there will be a link in the description you can take to go to College Board to get this practice test. It's a PDF document. It, I recommend that you download it, print it off so that way you can do it in paper and pencil. There's also going to be linked to a uh, bubble sheet that you can use, and then you can use the College Board's uh, SAT, pre SAT app to score your bubble sheet by taking a picture of your bubble sheet. So linked in the description is going to be the link to the practice tests as well as the link to the bubble sheet. And then you can find the app in the App Store or the Google Play Store. So you're going to be doing that for your lesson today. There's no additional lesson, just this. So you're going to have a you're going to have 65 minutes for the reading section. Make sure that you're timing it using a watch. So you're going to have 65 minutes for the reading section. Then after that, you're going to have a 10-minute break. So during that 10-minute break, make sure that you take it so that you're simulating the real test because on the real test, you'll have that 10-minute break. Then after that 10-minute break, you will have 35 minutes to do the SAT writing and language section. Then after that writing and language section, you will have 25 minutes to complete the math no calculator section. Then after that, you will have a five minute break. After your five minute break, you will have 55 minutes to complete the math with calculator section. And then after that, you will have, if you're two, or if you are taking it with essay and you're gonna do that essay with this practice test, then you're gonna have two minute break. And then after that, you'll have 50 minutes to write your essay. So it's up to you whether you not want to do the essay or not. Uh, if you're taking it the SAT with essay, I'd recommend doing the essay the essay with your practice test. But if you're not do, taking the SAT with essay, then you don't really have to practice it. So I wouldn't worry about it. So check the links below, and then you can go ahead and do that on your own. That's all we're going to do today. So as always, if you appreciate what I'm doing, there will be a donation link in the description when it's up and running. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And tomorrow we will be doing a uh, – tomorrow is basically going to be taking the day, and I'm just going to let you go over your practice test, go over what you've gotten wrong, what you've gotten right, write down the problems you got wrong, uh, how you can do them better, and things like that. So I will spend about 10 minutes tomorrow explaining how I how I want you to revise your practice test. So how I want you to basically do your corrections for it, figure out what you got wrong, what I want you to write down in your workbooks and notebooks for your practice test to make sure that you're getting the most out of it that you possibly can. So I'll cover that in about 10 or 15 minutes tomorrow, and then you'll have the rest of time to go through and figure out all the questions you got wrong, why you got them wrong, how to get to the correct answer, and all of that. So be sure to stay tuned in that, to that lesson we have tomorrow. So that'll take about 10 or 15 minutes. So as always, uh, there's going to be a donation link in the description when it's up and running. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and go ahead and take that SAT practice test five. Thank you.